Got it. All done. My thanks. Because there are two sorts of people in this house. Those loyal to Howe, and those loyal to me. If Howe's people find me, I'll be killed. And my people will insist on escorting me back to the palace, where my father may also have me killed. Warden, in the name of the Regent, I am placing you under arrest for the murder of Rendon Howe and his men-at-arms. Surrender, and you may be shown mercy. Bring them down! Loghain wants the Warden, dead or alive. Couldn't we all just get along? What comes, my friend?
Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Sir Calthrian's death is a waste, truly. But I suppose it could not be helped. I fear that my escape will make matters worse. Now that he cannot use me to support his claim on Merrick's throne, he may resort to drastic measures to stay in power. I doubt he will say anything publicly, at least until he has a better idea what to expect. We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. Perhaps it will be more difficult for him, but if my father says the Grey Wardens are the enemy, many will believe it. He is a legend. It's true. Our position in the Landsmeet is not strong, and this does little to help us. At least that snake How is dead. That alone will not be enough, however. My father is committed to his path. You will need ammunition for the Landsmeet, and there I can help. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset, which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the Landsmeet. But you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. You don't need to trust me. We have the same goal. That is far better than trust. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough. And decent. But even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan? I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denerim. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. Honora was a capable administrator for Caelan's lands, but she has not a drop of royal blood. We did not fight the Orlesians all those years just to lose our royal line in a single generation. Not when there's a surviving son of the blood. Um, thanks. I am right here, you know. His mother was a maid, but his father was Merrick Theron, for whom we all risked our lives to win back the throne. I only wish Merrick had taken more time to instruct the lad in the politics of ruling. I did my best, but we all hoped Caelan and Honora would secure the succession.
Are you serious? No, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen unless they both agreed to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. We certainly have a great deal to plan. Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. I'm glad you made it safely away. I hear how's death has already brought no small amount of cheer to the city. We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only way he ever let himself down. When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record, but there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thedas. The Anderfells are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. Once on Lee, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lad, and very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me, but they're shaped by the winters there and the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. It was near 1200 years ago, and no one knows for sure, except that it began with a group of Ander soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinta themselves. They were the first ones to track down the Archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, though none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order and were recognized by Thedas. Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the Darkspawn tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between Blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them. And it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. 
When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. I'm glad you made it safely away. I hear how's death has already brought no small amount of cheer to them. <laughs> I wondered what how did with them. Yes, these are my records. Names of the dead I recognized at Ostagar. What was left of Duncan's recruitment records. Some encrypted copies of the joining ritual that I retrieved from our Denerim vault. Those at least ought to have stayed private. It's located just off the market district in the northern alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. Inside you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. It is the stockpile the Wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denerim. Good luck to you then. We will have to talk again when the land's meet is more settled. It is good that you came to speak with me. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me, and what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Caelan's queen. As much as they loved Caelan, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Caelan was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, but a good ruler. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help, but because I saw an opportunity for us both. I need your support, Warden, and you will need mine. That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. But it is true that Alistair has Theron blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Really? 
Whatever will give you that idea. Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Marry her? As in marriage? As in be her husband? You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy. I... Maybe you're right. I hate it when you're right. Go ahead, then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now, excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? Or will we be reduced to passing notes? He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it, then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still, thank you. Yes. Indeed. I can't believe Ban Frandaryl fooled me. His guards almost nabbed you. I feel like a bloody fool, I do. Listen, I have to go. Here's your coin back. I won't take a silver because of the way that went down. Give me some time and come back. We'll get our revenge, we will. You have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How 
do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <clears throat> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did. And I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some servant of his to carry all his riches, I expect. Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well... So he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy? Except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. <sighs> I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. We're closed. Oh, it's you. The Drake scale armor is done. And it's, well, decent. Few things I'm rather proud of. And it didn't take as long as I feared. Odd. You'd better be very proud, Wade. We can't afford any more flights of fancy. I feel good, actually. I wouldn't mind working on Lord such-and-such's armor today. 
We'll see how long this lasts. Here's your armor. Now please leave. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Please leave. And if you have any more scales, you can shove them. You've cost our shop a great deal of customers. How dare you speak of this fine person that way? I am inspired, all thanks to you. Stay inspired. Just be inspired quickly. You just don't know when to quit. <laughs> Why so glum, Erin? Today is a glorious day. Today, I make dragon scale armor. I feel just giddy. Patience, patience. Now, I've dreamed of what I would do every night. It's in my head in perfect clarity. It will be the work of hours. What? Wh you're serious? Absolutely. The only question is what type of armor. Dragon skin is marvelous, flexible and tough. I could make a lighter set of dragon skin armor, heavy dragon scale armor, or dragon bone plate. What interests you? Excellent! Excellent! Now don't move! There you go. My life's work, that is. You did it so fast. Of course, Heren. Have some faith. I am a master armorer, you know. Miracles never cease. But you, you're not welcome here anymore. I need a sabbatical. Maybe someplace warm. I hate my life. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Please leave. Yeah, <sighs> just leave. Be careful with that. I can have my father send you back if I Dwarven. Can... Welcome back. Is there something else you'd like to look at? Every.
chickens know they're laying for an hour? This is a nice estate, isn't it? What's on your mind? I will answer to the best of my ability. This is a nice change from having to sleep in the woods, isn't it? Something I can help with? Denerim is Ferelden's most important city, yes? This is the seat of power, the jewel in the crown of the king. She is Ferelden's heart. Her walls are strong, but within them lies so much beauty, just like the country and the people. Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? Everything in here appears to be breakable. It seems most impractical. Yes. Its adventures are interesting, even if the chances for success are remarkably slim. It would be better to throw oneself off a cliff, I suspect. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No doubt. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. Perhaps we should continue. Its chances of success are small enough without further dawdling. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Right.
Warden. I'm sensing more dark It was a riot in High Everlast. 